Another indication that guitarists are well catered for in Sibelius is the large number of uh, specific features, features that are specific to guitarists, whether they're notation features or playback features. Let me show you what I mean. I have here a straightforward four bar phrase, let me play it to you. Now the first thing you notice with that is that there are fret noises in between the notes. That's part of the playback configuration part of the sounds that we're using and we'll look at that a little later in the video. First feature that's specific to guitarists so I'm going to look at is for it's going to affect this last chord here. So let me double click on it. So the entire chord selected and it uses the keypad. Now we've all used the keypad now to input notes, and that's fine, and we tend to use the first keypad layout here. But you see along the top there are a various number, there are six different keypads there. I'm going to jump to this one here, and you'll see along the top of this one there are arpeggio indicators. So I can, for example, select that one, and I now get which is very nice. These are toggleable, so I can turn them on and off. I'm using the, the on-screen keypad just now. I could, of course, be using the keypads on my numeric keypad, on my computer keyboard. But as well as the arpeggio there, I can specify whether it goes up or down. So let me try this one here and see how that sounds. So again, a nice wee touch just to enhance the playback of your music. One of the most important galleries that you have to be aware of as a guitarist, though, is the Lines Gallery. Now, if I, for example, go to the Notations tab, there's my Lines group there, and that is my Lines Gallery. There's obviously more than two lines in it, so you expand that by using this button here. And you can see there are lots of lines there. However, a lot of these are not guitar-specific. Crescendos, diminuendos, Ritz, Excel, Accelerandos, etc. They're not specifically for guitars. However, if I scroll down, you see they're all categorised. And when you get down to the guitar category, there are a lot of guitar-specific lines. To use any of these lines works in exactly the same way as you've used already when you're using crescendos or slurs, for example. You select the note to which you want it to apply, and then you select the line to apply to it. There is, of course, a keyboard shortcut to get to this, and for lines, it's L. So, I'm going to open up my lines, and I'm going to scroll down to the guitar section. One thing you have to be aware of is that some of these lines affect the playback, but some of them don't. So, for example, if I select this wide vibrato, it adds it to this note here. But when I play it back, has no effect on the playback. So be aware of that. Some of the lines are to enhance the way this, the score looks, but some of them also enhance the way the score sounds. So for example, with that note still selected, open up lines, scroll down. If I, for example, take the bend here, and then play back, you can hear that that does affect the playback. And obviously if I change that note and play it back, let's change it back up. Okay, so you can hear that that line does affect the playback. Other ones that affect the playback, let me select these notes here, L for lines, scroll down. For example, the harmonics. I'm just going to grab the end of this line here and drag it back a wee bit to make sure that it only affects these ones. Play from the beginning and have a listen. So you can hear that those notes there are affected by this line here. They play back as harmonics. Of course, there's no reason why you can't use non-guitar-specific lines 
to affect playback as well. So for example, I'm going to select this note here, open up my lines, let's just use a glissando. Now you can use glissandos obviously in a variety of instruments, I'm going to use it on the guitar. It tends to put glissando in as a straight line, so you can grab this wee end and you can adjust the angle as you wish to make it look how you want it to look. And now, when I go to here and play, oops, it's actually playing it back with the harmonics. Let me play it from here. You can hear the glissando there. One um, feature that's worth noticing about the glissando is if I select the, gl the glissando line, go to the Home tab and open up the Inspector. I'm going to pin this just for a second so you can see what I'm going to be doing next. Because I have this selected, it shows me the playback properties for the glissando. And at the moment, it's set to Instrument Default. Well, I can change that. I can make it to, for example, continuous. Hit play. It's an interesting sound. Um, again, select the gliss. I can make it, for example, the chromatic notes, which I think is instrument default. Or I can make it all the white notes or all the black notes. That's entirely up to myself. I can also decide when it does a glissando, whether it's straight from this, the first note to the last note, or early or late. That's entirely up to myself as well. So you can see there are a number of ways that you can affect the playback using specific lines in Sibelius. However, if you're going to affect the playback, one big way you can use it, obviously, is using the mixer. Now, to open the mixer, I would use the keyboard shortcut M. And there we have it. It may look slightly different from this. If you've seen the other video on the mixer in more detail, I would. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I would certainly recommend that you go and have a look at it. Um, if you have seen it, you'll, rec you'll know how to adjust how the, the mixer looks. I'm going to have it at this point here. Now, at the moment, this uh, line, this guitar line, is playing back using the nylon guitar. And you will also see here that this is where you can adjust the amount of fret noises that you hear. But what you can also do is change the actual sound of the guitar. Now, for the moment, I've got it set to nylon guitar. There's no reason why I couldn't select that and change it, for example, to electric guitar with a variety of different options here. I'm going to go for the electric guitar uh, distortion. And I can check the sound by using this wee button here. It's a completely different sound. And ops, uh, these options here have also changed, notice. So, for example, um, the distortion... I now have a distortion option because I didn't have that with an island guitar, obviously, and I can choose how much distortion is going to be applied to the sound, to the to playback. So again, I can play back from there. I can add in the chorus mix, I can adjust the tremolo depth, I can decide I want to have more fret noises. If you do the fret noises with um, distorted guitar, it makes some interesting sounds. Let's play it back again now with these changes, see what happens. So you can see that there's a lot of specific things you can do for guitar using Sibelius.